Hello everybody, today we are making a watercolour and collage artwork. This is a project that I'm going to be running for my children's workshops. I do homeschool and after school workshops with children every week and I thought this would be a really fun one but could also be great for adults to do too. So what I am using, I have two pads of watercolour paper. Now I just get the Montmart brand. It's really affordable. Obviously you don't have to buy the, both the pads. This one is $12.99. Well this is in Australia, my local stockist. It's 300 GSM and there's 12 sheets. I'm going to use the 300 GSM paper as the backing paper because I am going to be doing a bit of a wash just with watercolour straight on and the 300 GSM just holds moisture a lot better whereas the 180 GSM tends to buckle a little bit. So I'm going to use the 180 GSM to create the new papers that we're then going to collage with. So we've got the paper. So the thicker cardstock is the paper that we're using. And I've also bought a new pack of watercolor paints. Now, again, I have just bought the cheap set. You can buy even cheaper set. These were nearly $20. You, can, you don't need this many colors. I just like to have a really big variety of colors because I will obviously use these watercolors for a lot of other projects down the track as well for both my children's and adult workshops as well as for my own artwork so in this pack that's a real that's a heap of colors so that's great so I'm just using the uh, flip side of an old takeaway container you don't need to have a proper palette or anything so this is going to be a beach scene I'm going to have the water down here then the sand, some little beach boxes where I live on the Mornington Peninsula in Victoria, Australia. We've got these beautiful beach boxes along the foreshore. And then up the top is going to be the sky. So I'm going to do a little bit of a wash for the sky up the top. Now this beautiful big pink jacket is jumper is actually my pyjamas. It's really chilly here in Melbourne today. I'm using a bigger brush just because it's just going sort of straight across the top. So I like to put a lot of water on. Oh, so that's very painty. We don't, we want it to be much more lighter than that. You can obviously have your sky as dark as you want it, but I actually wanted it quite light. So I'm actually gonna take some paper, whoa, Paper towel is better than toilet paper because I've just had a heap of the paper come off. Not great. Okay, so that's gonna be my sky. Now I'm gonna put this over to the side now and we're going to do some painting that will be cut out and used as sand. Actually, I think I might just do the sand directly on there. Take that back, let's do the sand directly onto the base paper. For sand, I'm just gonna start with this color, yellow ochre. Now with watercolours, you obviously only need a very, very small amount. And I don't mind that it's sort of going green where I've gone over the blue sky a little bit because where I live, once you get off the sand, it does tend to have a bit of green, a bit of few plants and foliage. Ok, 
Okay, now that is the sand done. Now we can pop that one aside. Once this is dry, I'll come and get those little bits of paper off. So now I'm going to do a whole page of different blues that will be used as the ocean and I'm going to cut them into pieces. I'm just going to do a little bit of each, oh, each blue. I'm going to use my smaller brush because I'd like some strokes to appear. And I'm going to do different levels of water on there so that some are quite darker compared to others. Of course, I could have just painted this directly onto the main paper, but I'm exploring collage with my kids in the workshop. So creating your own collage paper with watercolors is a really cool technique to have on in your tool belt. And it's a good way for the kids who may not be confident yet with watercolors to have a bit of a play without too much stress that they're going to make a mistake or wreck their artwork because we're literally just doing some rows and then we're going to cut out the detail. I think that will do for the water. I just need enough so that I can Put it down the bottom there and stick it on the rest of the sheet i'm going to do some other colors which will be used to create the little boat shed slash beach boxes so for that i might want to do some fun bright colors like pink i mean you can see here you only need the tiniest bit i've probably put way too much of those blues on i've just put about half the amount of the pink because you really almost only need like a quarter of the size of a pea if you're only using a little bit, I might do some green as well. Might do some little plants out of the sand. A little bit of purple. It's always good to have a bit of paper next to you so if you have got too much water on there you can just dab it off. And you can mix some colors up if you've done enough of those colors so that you're using it up. Ew, I don't like that color. I wanted it to be a bit of a nicer orange, but that's okay. Green.
just gonna splash a little bit of white over the blue so that it can be like that white frothy part of the wave. I've got one more little corner to fill. Hmm. Okay, so that is my collage sheet now ready to go. I'm going to let that dry and then we'll start cutting and gluing onto the backing sheet. Okay, the paper is dry. The backing paper is dry. It is a bit folded over. So if you wanted to wait, you could put it under some heavy books to get it nice and flat before you do the next part, but we are just going to continue. Now I'm going to use Mod Podge for my glue to stick the collage pieces on. However, you could just use a glue stick if you wanted to. That would be totally fine. So I've just got my scissors. So I'm just going to Do a few, firstly, let's just cut this off. Because this is our water. Um, so I'm going to kind of do flowy pieces and then we're going to sort of match them up like a puzzle. And I want to have the lighter colors up above the darker colors because the darker color obviously represents the deeper ocean. And then as we get closer to the sand, the water goes lighter. Now we don't have to overthink this part. We're just cutting out shapes just with a little bit of wave in them.
We're going to use a glue stick to glue this down. I would normally prefer to use Mod Podge, but my Mod Podge has dried up at the bottom there. Let's just go with the glue stick and see how it goes. So you got to kind of just wing it a little bit. I have done a little bit of planning to get an idea of where I think each piece is going to go. If it's not beautifully matching up in the edge you can either go over the edge slightly and then cut it later or you can leave a little bit of a gap and then come in just with the watercolor directly onto the paper so i really wanted to get the bottom part done because that is the nice dark blue part see I'll just cut that trying to get the edges sorted first and then I can fill the middle parts a bit easier. And you can sort of tuck things in and over once you start to get that good base. So we've got sort of the lot, majority of the darker colors down and now we just need to put these nice light colors.
just get that little So at this point, we're just covering any little gap. So there's just a little gap there. So we'll just pop that little piece there. And we, I've, you can probably see I'm using a lot of glue. I'm going quite heavy with the glue. And then because I'm using the glue stick, we're, just, we're going to have little bits that flick up. This generally doesn't happen so much if you're using Mod Podge or PBA, but that's okay. We'll just get in there and tuck them back down. Um, and I would want to, if you're doing this as a, you know, an artwork that you're potentially going to sell, putting it in a frame, it should be okay. But if you weren't putting it in a frame, like if you were doing this on a canvas or something, you'd really want to go over the top with Mod Podge as well, just to seal it. So I'm pretty happy with that. I might just do one last little bit just over there, just to finish it. I feel like it needs it. So I kind of just want to, yeah, that's perfect. Just like that. Mm. Okay, I think that looks cool. Maybe just one more. Okay, there we go. So now that I'm finished, I'm gonna flip it over and just trim up any overhanging pieces. And I've got one tiny little bit there that just needs to, I'll just grab, I'll just get that with the watercolor paper. I mean the watercolor paint, just to finish that little bit off there. There, beautiful. Okay, so that is layer one of the collage done. We've done the water. Now try and tidy as you go, or you'll end up with a big mess. Now, next we're gonna do some little beach boxes. Now, how big shall we do these beach boxes? So for the beach boxes, you're going to do the, a rectangle for the main building. Then you're gonna do doors. And you're also going to do a little roof. So. Now you could also add in some extra details. For instance, that door is the size more of a double door. So we maybe add in little divider there. So what we'll do is move that. So 
So we're going to put the beach boxes spread out along the foreshore here. I'm doing sort of bigger size beach boxes. You could do lots of tiny little ones if you wanted. And I've just realized I haven't really done the shape correctly because the beach boxes more go up like that and then they have their little side roofs. Let's use the back of this. That's better, that's how you're meant to do it.
That one's just going to be a single door. And that one will be a double orange door. And then to finish this off, we're just going to do some little grassy areas. So we're going to cut kind of a diamond and then we're going to just You can draw these first in grey lead if you're not confident about just freestyle cutting. But honestly, the more you do, the better you get. And then we're just going to pop them around the place. Okay, that's done. That's our beach scenery, our watercolor paper collage project. If you liked this project, please like the video, leave a comment. I'd love to hear if you give it a go yourself and subscribe to my channel for more art and craft videos. Thanks for watching.